This morning, cleanup efforts are underway in Florida as businesses and homeowners reel from Hurricane Ian's destruction. More than 100 people now confirmed dead. So far, crews rescued more than 1,900 survivors. Right now, power is still out to about half a million homes, down from more than two and a half million. Some are without running water as well. News Nation correspondent Xavier Walton, live this morning in Fort Myers with the latest. Xavier, good morning. Good morning, Adrian. Mitch, you know what? As you, you walk around town and you just talk to people here, everyone, everyone has a story, right? Everyone knows what they were doing last Wednesday, whether they left, whether they stayed. Everyone was impacted by Ian. And every time you walk around, you, you see images like this around town. And you just see the devastation. You're just reminded constantly of what happened here less than a week ago. So far, more than 100 deaths have been reported, half of those coming from right here in Lee County, Fort Myers. There have been more than 1,900 rescues. Power still remains a major problem. Some 43,000 utility workers and support staff working to restore power to more than, I mean, 560,000 homes and businesses. That's more than half a million people. Right now, more than ever, people, though, they need help. They need here, help here in Southwest Florida. Next Level Church uh, over in the Gateway area, handing out hundreds of meals, water, just giving help any way they can. The situation is dire here. People are in need. People like Joanne Simmers, who we spoke to just a short time ago. I live right down the street, and it got eight feet of mud and water all through my house, blew out the windows and the doors. But it's an old Florida house, and the, the bones are still good. I'm hoping we can save it. We're just moving forward. Um, we've got to clean up the area. We've got to rebuild, you know, little by little. Little by little, one step at a time. And I asked Joanne why she chose to stay. She found out uh, the hurricane was coming this way a little too late. And she said she didn't want to evacuate because she was so scared that she would get caught in her car in Hurricane Ian's path. And she, she would rather ride out the storm here. Her home is just that way and it was destroyed by Hurricane Ian last Wednesday. The president will be here tomorrow to assess some of the damage. Uh, here in just a few minutes, though, we're going to go to that church, Next Level Church over in the Gateway area, where they're going to be handing out meals to people who just desperately could use it right now as the situation continues here in Fort Myers. I'll send it back to you. All right, Xavier, thank you for sharing her story. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.